Houston, this is Jupiter 1, come in. Houston, I repeat, this is Jupiter 1, come in please. Houston, this is Jupiter 1, please respond. Jupiter 1, this is Houston, please stand by. Stand by, Houston 1. I said stand by, Jupiter 1. God damn it, look at me, I'm the astronaut. What the? Jupiter 1, this is Houston, go ahead. Go ahead? Houston, what the hell is going on down there? Um, uh, nothing, Jupiter 1. Nothing? It didn't sound like nothing, Houston. Jupiter 1, I assure you, it was nothing. Wow, this really makes you look at space in a whole new light, man. It's beautiful. Houston, are you watching Gravity again? Um, uh, no, Jupiter 1, it's something else. Well, what is it, then? It's this new space-based game, Jupiter 1, called Solar Flux. It's the, uh, the British say the, uh, Mutt's Nuts, is it? Really? That good, huh? Yes, Jupiter 1, it really is. Cool. So when do I get to play it? Uh, when your, uh, mission's over. In three months. Fuck. That's <laughs> a fuck indeed. Hi guys, my name's Bam Sam and welcome to another Game Over Man video. So the lovely people at Firebrand Games sent me and the Game Over Man guys a couple of copies of their new game, Solar Flux. You may have heard in one of the previous podcasts that we spoke to the game's producer, Alex. You would have also heard in that podcast that me and the guys were actually really fond of the game. So let's have a look at Solar Flux and let's see why it's so damn good. Set in a future where the universe's suns are dying out, your mission is to save these stars and to stop them from what I can only assume is imploding. Developed by Firebrand Games, a company most well known for its movie slash driving games such as Fast and Furious Showdown, Cars 2 and Need for Speed Underground, Solar Flux takes a completely different direction to what you could say is Firebrand's comfort zone. More brains and concentration rather than speed and adrenaline, Solar Flux is a space puzzle game where players travel across the universe and must deliver plasma fragments to these dying suns to restore their equilibrium. Each level presents the player with a puzzle. How can I get this plasma to the sun using minimal, if any, boost fuel to achieve maximum points, or in Solar Flux's case, three stars? You start with a main ship that you can choose which direction to fire off your subship that will collect the plasma fragments from areas of the map and then deliver them to the suns. Using the waves from the sun when each plasma segment is delivered affects the direction your subship travels, but this can be a positive thing as you can ride these waves to the next available plasma fragments. You can also use the waves to direct you back to your main ship to shoot you off in a different direction, or even to a nearby moon to ride its gravitational pull into another direction. Unlike most games where you can just quickly plough through the game to get to later levels and stages, with the boosters your subship carries it would be quite easy to jump through these levels, but that defeats the object of the game, getting the three stars. I found myself annoyed that I just missed out on 3 stars as I had to use something ridiculous at like 1% of my fuel. But it's not just as simple as going back in and trying it the same way and hoping you could get away with it using your fuel. I found myself having to take a completely different route on the level just to avoid using that 1% of fuel. And that's what made me fall in love with this game. How you can't just cheat your way through. You really do have to sit there and think, how the fuck am I going to do this? Gameplay is simple, the first few stages of the game are basically spoon feeding you on how to play the game and teaching you all the tricks. As you get further in the game, the levels are a lot more complex and require a lot more attention and skill, but these are easily picked up on the way. One of the most fun elements of the game is trial and error, there is nothing more satisfying than thinking, I'm going to give this a whirl and see if it works, and BOOM! You now the three stars. Visually the game is stunning, with what can be described as minimal 3D graphics the game looks massive and beautiful, each level looks deep and is a pleasure on the eye. My first thoughts on the visuals were that it reminded me of that Danny Boyle movie Sunshine, which the game's producer Alex later confirmed during the interview that it took a lot of inspiration from the movie. Another thing that just sucks you into the atmosphere of the game is the music, in a nutshell it's amazing. Simple, subtle, yet atmospheric, you could almost be convinced you were in, at the museum or at an observatory. 
When also speaking to Alex, I told him that the music reminded me of the Kennedy Space Center, to which he surprised me once again by saying that they were working closely with the Kennedy Space Center and Florida Space Coast. With over 80 levels, Solar Flux is a huge game that will have you hooked for hours and hours. But not only can you enjoy the game on PC, you can also get Solar Flux on your smartphone and tablet. And the best thing about having it on a smartphone and tablet, you can play the game anywhere. Solar Flux loses zero quality in these portable versions. The game is just as stunning visually, and the integration of touchscreen brings a whole new experience to the game. Solar Flux is an absolute joy to play. Myself and the Game Over Man guys had an absolute blast playing it over the last few weeks. Forgive the pun. I highly recommend what I can only describe as a mature version of Angry Birds to everyone. The game is available on Steam for the absolute bargain price of £6.99 or for our US viewers $9.99. Better yet, if you have an Android device, you can get the game for free. FREE! You can also get it on iTunes for a couple of quid, but believe me, listen to me, the game is a fucking bargain. Two thumbs up.